plays which is telltale signs of uh, history, not very really ancient history. This is more or less in the eyes of a historian would be more or less modern history from 16th century. Onwards. There are uh, there are uh, clear clear visual uh, mark things of, uh, of uh, the Portuguese, the Dutch in the architecture, in the way of life, in the language left behind. And uh, there's been no place uh, in India which is sort of serial colonization, the kind of it Kochi has had. So serially colonized uh, for 420, 30 years, uh, nearly half a million years, by the Portuguese, the Dutch, and the English, without any gap. And this is all of one square mile. Uh, the biggest friendship was between the Dutch and the Jews. Uh, uh, barring that, uh, the, the transition was never very smooth. The colonial transition was never smooth. It was very violent. That was another revelation for me. I never thought that the place which looked so sleepy and so beautiful like Fort Ruchi would have gone to such violent, turbulent shifts of power. Um, first from, from the Portuguese to the Dutch, from the Dutch to the English, even more violent. Most Kochi people remember Kochi as a place with nearly 500 years of colonial, colonial heritage. It's not ancient. Uh, Hindu or Indian heritage, Western heritage. So that's very interesting. And the fact that uh, we celebrate it, uh, maybe through tourism today, uh, through certain lifestyles also we celebrate it for many years. The place was home to 14 languages, as many as 14 languages. All of it must have created, uh, you know, a certain kind of lifestyle, a certain kind of attitude to life, uh, which, which is probably what you would find in a globalized uh, uh, world, in some, at least some parts of the globe. It's kind of localized place. Uh, many people there must have at some point witnessed major changes in their lifetime, from language to language, colonial power to colonial power. Living with one colonial master is bad enough. <laughs> some have lived with many, many. Uh, that, that, that's, that's a very vibrant uh, place. Uh, the vibrancy must have, seems to have also played out, but for the major shifts of power, where the wars were fought by the colonial masters, the people themselves lived in peace. People of many multiple faiths, multiple linguistic ethnic groups, uh, lived in uh, remarkable uh, peace and uh, harmony.